everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I am getting over being sick, so my voice is awful today, but I did promise that I was going to be doing a DIY cream eyeshadow for you guys, how I made my smudge pot um, cream shadow, whatever you want to call it. So I am going to be doing another one today, <clears throat> pardon me, with the Hot Side Pink Mica. And this is in my single ladies and my man matte but I really want to um, use this as a cream shadow. Again, I apologize for my voice. I'm gonna to try to keep the talking to a minimum. All right, so I am starting out with a, this is a mica. It does have a little jojoba in it because I had it pressed originally, but that is all that I have in there. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start with a little bit of um, eye primer. You can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original formula. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Or I'm gonna drop it in there. Not intentional. This is not part of the, uh, the intended show. All right, so that is in there. Let me wipe that off. And I'm going to put a couple of drops of water in there. Actually, I'll probably put about five. Because we want to have it um, be able to stir it up a little bit. It is going to start to get a little clumpy, but it will get better. All right, next I'm going to take just... Um, vegetable glycerin. I got this from Coastal Scents back when they still sold it. I don't know if they still do or not, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this and add it. It is a natural humectant, so I find that my cream shadows don't dry out as quick as long as I put a little bit of glycerin in it. And hopefully this dropper will work. That was about six drops of glycerin. And then I'm just gonna mix this up. And you really can make it to whatever consistency you like. I like mine on the thicker side and um, it will thicken up once those five drops of water evaporate out. It just helps with the whole mixing process. It's really just as simple as that, finding the texture that you like. Make sure you mix it in well so all of the ingredients are well blended. <clears throat> and I apologize again for my voice. This is not what I wanted for this video, but it is on the schedule so it needs to get filmed along with a few other things. All right, so that is it. I know it doesn't seem very hard because it isn't. And I'm just gonna take this brush right here. You can see it's um, a little clumpy. And if that's the case, then you wanna add a little bit more primer and that'll help smooth it out. The primer also helps it um, stay because a lot of times with pigments you almost have to use like a glitter glue with those in order to get them to um, not fall off and so the primer helps them stay your consistency will improve as the ingredients kind of marry together over time and I will say, because you are introducing water into this, you want to make sure that um, you are using it right away. You don't want to make a ton of pigments and um, have them sit in your collection for a year or two because water we know will grow mold. Um, the short amount of time that this little bit will take me to use, it is not an issue, but um, that is something that you want to be aware of. See if the consistency is a little bit better. But usually after two or three days of sitting, it does get a little bit better. And 
that is basically it. Um, I will probably not wear this for a few days. I'm gonna likely put this in my makeup basket next week so that um, it has time to sit. I usually just lay the cap on it so that some evaporation can occur because I have a dog and um, his hair likes to float so that's why I like to keep it semi-covered. So I will just put that off to the side, let it set up for a few days and then um, I will be able to use it. And once it dries, it really doesn't go anywhere. It is not completely dry yet, but that primer definitely helps it stay. So that is it. That is really all that I do. It is super simple. This video is not gonna take very long, but again, I use any kind of um, eye primer and um, it's easier if you have the kind that you can like squeeze out or is in a jar. Um, I like the squeeze kind because the consistency tends to be a little softer than like a potted. And a um, little bit of water, that is technically optional, but um, I find it mixes a little bit better. And then um, I use vegetable glycerin. I don't think Amanda does, but um, it's all personal preference. Um, I like the glycerin, one, because I have it, and two, because I find that um, it doesn't dry out as fast because um, it will take humidity out of the air and draw it to your product. So um, that's just something that works for me. It's not for everyone, but um, that's how I do it. It's, it's pretty plain and simple and I can't wait to use this because it is a gorgeous color and you will be seeing this on my eyes a lot in the next couple of weeks. All right, that is everything for this video. Again, I apologize for my voice, but as they say, the show must go on and um, I did promise this, so here it is. And here is the ingredients that I used, pretty plain and simple, straightforward. And if you guys have done anything similar to this and use a different method, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. So um, let me know and um, I'm gonna probably start doing some more DIY types of things, like how I franken and, and make different kinds of things. So if that's something that you're interested in, also let me do, know down in the comments and um, I might consider doing those. All right, I am out of here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.